Oh, hey there. Welcome to my kitchen. Yes, I know we've been closed for a while, but now we're open. So we're gonna start by cutting the celery. All right, Stanley, follow me over here. Let's go. I, I need you to walk over here with me. Yes. These celeries actually go really nice on top of your Christmas tree. I found if you put it up there, you should stay healthy for at least 10 years. You guys see this? There's dirt inside the celery. Make sure that you take the dirt out because you don't want to be sucking that up when you're sucking down your vitamins, you know? So we've cut the celery. We're gonna open up this bag of cranberries. Boom. Yes, we are on to the apples. Then you cut the seeds out. Okay. That's done. Okay, you guys, so we got the celery. We got the apple. But I want to get to my oranges. Now, I bet you all didn't think I could juggle. Watch this. <laughs> Watch again. <laughs> Let's get on with it. Boom. Cut it again. Then you just gotta take the orange out of the peel. Pretend that you're peeling away layers of paint on the Mona Lisa. Do you think anyone would notice if I like, snuck a bite of this orange when I was cutting it? No, you don't think so? Yep. Wow. Anyways, uh, we're just gonna keep on peeling these oranges. Cause that's what we do here in Ripe Savage. <laughs> oh, wait. Last one, we got a grapefruit. Don't forget the grapefruit. Let's cut that, baby. And let me wash the blueberries. I'm warming up to cut the coconut. This thing's gonna be tough. Then you gotta just go like this, wiggle that baby. Let's try this again. There we go. All four cuts have been made. Jeez, man. This thing is, this thing is tough. It's like, whew. Now you know why I stretched. Okay. <laughs> that one seemed promising. Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> that, that, wow, that was crazy. I've never seen that happen before. Juicy John, that's all I can say. So, to my left, we've got a coconut. Zoom in. We have got Cranberries, freshly cut vegetables, vegetable, and fruits, and a lovely assortment of blueberries. So let's choose from our lovely sort. Us, let's <coughs> let's choose from our lovely assortment of cups. Oh, this one looks promising. All right, let's, let's get it on. Are you excited? We're juicing the grapefruit first. If I didn't already say it, grapefruit is a grapefruit. Uh. 
All right, you guys, I want to formally apologize. My camera ran out of juice. <laughs> the pun. <laughs> Anyways, my camera ran out of juice and I'm back. We missed the part where I juiced the cranberries, I juiced the orange, I juiced the apples, and we got three cups right now. So um, we're just gonna start off from here again. Yeah, you wanna zoom in on that? Let's just continue. Moving on, get a nice little zoom in on that baby. That is gorgeous. Wow. All right, I gotta get the boot. Like, you guys gotta be expecting the boot, right? All right, you see, look it. Get, get it, zoom in on the boots right there. Can you do a better job of zooming, please? I, I, I didn't hire you for this. I, mean, <laughs> <at all>. <laughs> <laughs> I got the boot. All right. Let's put the ice in the boot. This video is gonna be crazy. How should I, what should I throw in first? Okay, we got coconut. Watch this, you guys. I call that ripe savage. Okay. We're going to pour the blueberry apple juice into the Celery blueberry apple, slow bull apple. All right. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I need another boot. Ah, I was supposed to fit it in one boot. Now what am I supposed to do? All right. I have eliminated one cup of juice in order to add two cups of juice. Yes, sometimes you must subtract to add more. It's part of life. Yeah, whatever. Just... Ooh, oh. That, look at that, it's gorgeous. You just take a nice knife, you know, mix this stuff around. Ooh. You know what I like to call that? I call that lava. When you got lava flowing over the boot, you know you've done a great job. I gotta take my glasses off of this. <laughs> Yeehaw. <laughs> that's delicious. All right, zoom in, that looks nice. Mm -hmm. There we go. Finished product. Only in John's kitchen. Did you zoom in on the Cheerios yet? You make sure to get those. Yeah, zoom in nice and swiftly on those. So we got the boot. We got these two. Stanley, do you want these two? <laughs> I need you to drink something. <laughs> I have like nine gallons of juice. I can't just let the juice go to waste. Nope. Help me out, man. <laughs> nope. Bro. I need some help. Nope. This is a 911 situation. We're gonna skip to the part where we start drinking the juice because you guys obviously don't want to see me clean this twice. It's kind of boring. Even for me. Wow, look at that. That is, oh, wow. <laughs> what is Pulp Fiction? A movie? <laughs> this is not Pulp Fiction. This is Pulp Reality. There's a nice angle. What's that? That looks nice. Cheers. It's refreshing. All right, put your umbrella in. Let's get this done. That, a juice is never complete without an umbrella. Zoom in on your shirt. Show them your shirt. Show everybody your Bob Ross shirt. Ever make mistakes in life? Let's make them birds. Yeah, now they're birds. And mine says revolution, and I actually have birds on my shirt, so, yeah. So those are mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> no. That is savage. <laughs> Ripe, Ripe savage. savage. <laughs> Ripe savage. We should get used to it. I should get used to this juicing thing. I should make a video every single day. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it. <laughs> He's the reason why I stopped. <laughs> I would love to drink 
all of this this beautiful juice this boot full of juice but I'm tired and it's 2 a.m. you have anything else to add Stanley? Not the umbrella on top of the juice. Oh. We'll return at the crack of dawn. Thank <laughs> you.